I was called in by the, I don't know whether he wasn't, sent in, wasn't the commanding officer of the station, but the head of training, and said to me, he said, um, uh, there's a couple of postings available to you. Uh, he said, one, he said, the first one would be, we're a bit short of um, of Seafire pilots on, on the aircraft carriers. The Navy are prepared to accept you on a short-term uh, commission. And I immediately said, oh, look, sir, I, now I have enough trouble getting a thing down on terra firma. Um, I don't think that would suit me. And then, whether he seemed disappointed, and I wasn't quite sure, but then he then said to me as if it was a, a bit of a punishment, he said, well, lad, he said, it's the Middle East for you. And I could not keep the smile off my face. I think I gave it away. He realised that, <laughs> that he maybe should have put it the other way around. So I went to the Middle East, to Egypt, uh, Suez Canal, Fayed on the, on the great bit of lake there. And uh, we did the OTU, I did my OTU on Kitty Hawks. And I guess there's a story there too, Keith. Um, they didn't, they, this was the RAF running this, and they did some funny things, the Brits. They didn't, uh, we had a choice of three aircraft. It was a, a very, very big OT, operational training unit, OTU. We had Spitfires, <coughs> Thunderbolts P-47, and of course the P-40 Kitty Hawk. Instead of asking which aircraft you'd like to go on, I can remember this very well. He said, which, um, which theatre of war would you like to go to? I, he said, you've got a choice. He said, Burma or Italy? Well, Burma didn't appear to me whatsoever. So, unknowingly, I said, "Oh no, I'd like to go to I'd like to go to to Italy," and it was an automatic posting on the Kitty Hawks, which suited me just fine.